Welcome to the 10th episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. This time I've taken a look at a somewhat peculiar title, Base Jumpers, developed by Shadow Software and published by Rasputin in 1995. In Base Jumpers you are just that, a base jumper. One of those mad people who enjoy throwing themselves off cliffs, bridges and tall buildings and releasing their parachute at the last moment to fully enjoy the thrill of the free fall. If you ask me, it's a good thing that you can choose to enjoy this pastime in a video game instead of in real life. Base Jumpers is a mix of genres. The main event is of course the actual base jumping and controlling your character as he falls. But what you spend most time doing is actually playing a platform section of the game, where you go from bottom to top climbing up the thing you're going to be throwing yourself off. This platforming part is sadly somewhat subpar, especially when considering that this was released as late as 1995. The base jumping part sees you controlling your character as he falls through the air, trying to push your opponents into obstacles and killing them in the process, while steering yourself clear of those same obstacles. Sadly, like the platforming, this isn't much fun either. All in all, this game is excruciatingly boring to play in single player mode, but I'm sure it could be a lot of fun multiplayer. This game actually supports 4 player multiplayer, something that you seldomly saw on the platform, and I can only imagine the fun to be had in this mode. In multiplayer mode the platforming levels become a race to the top, to see who can get there first and thus get the highest score. The base jumping parts will also be a lot more fun given human opponents, and I'm sure there'd be a lot of screaming and shouting involved as you try to push each other into obstacles. Oh, and if you're wondering just how exactly you play a 4 player game on a CD32, it's done by having two players on each joypad, one using the directional controls and the other using the buttons. The game also has a number of fun little bonuses that you can activate by picking up letters in the correct order, leading to minigames such as a Pac-Man clone, a simple racing game, a shoot 'em up, a kind of space jousting game and more. The only problem is that, like the rest of the game, all of these minigames are awful in single player mode. Let's take a look at what the magazines back in the day had to say about base jumpers. Amiga Power awarded base jumpers a 70% score. They start off their review by applauding the multiplayer aspect of the game, but finish off by writing, Base jumpers is flawed. It just doesn't work at all as a one player game. It's a bit like going bungee jumping with no one watching to see how brave you are, and you run out of lives too quickly in the multiplayer games. Pretty soon there's only one player left, and he's not going to want to continue on his own after he knows he's won. Amiga Format gave the game 79%, saying that base jumpers doesn't set the world alight, nor boundaries does it break. The sprite can be difficult to control, and some of the sub-games are incredibly difficult, particularly the biplaner. However, get four friends huddled around a CD32 and it's spanking fun. The only disappointment being that once you're out, you don't come back. Frustrating when you're left on your own. CD32 Gamer, who gave the game a 79% score, wrote, Base jumpers may appear a bi-directional arcade platform rump, with some average looking graphics. But with oodles of sub-games, the surprise factor should keep most gamesters engrossed for long periods at a time. As a single player experience, I can't recommend base jumpers. The platforming is nothing special and neither is the base jumping. On the other hand, if you have a few retro loving friends at hand, I'd recommend giving it a go, as I could imagine it being a lot of fun with some friends and a few beers. I'm giving this game a 2 out of 5 score, based on the fact that I've been playing it as a single player game. In multiplayer it may go to 3 or even all the way to 4, I don't know because I haven't tried it, but um, as a single player experience I can't recommend it, so 2 out of 5.